Foul mouth fishing, keep it clean in this live stream, please. Welcome back, foul mouth fishing. Uh, so, this just came in the mail. Uh, it's my Rush Tackle Box for the month of August. Uh, today is August the 2nd. This actually showed up on my doorstep yesterday, the first of the month. Um, Rush Tackle Box, just like all the other uh, bait uh, monthly subscription boxes, is uh, just basically bait and tackle that you'll get every month. Uh, you pay a nominal fee and you hope to return more value in the box than what you outlaid at the uh, onset of your, of your uh, subscription. So for the month of August, uh, let's crack in and see what we got in the RTV uh, today. So, just like Mystery Tackle Box, um, it comes with a What's Inside card. Um, standard tier, um, Canadian-based uh, company. But uh, inside your premium bass box for the month of August are these six baits from these six random companies. Um, already I see at least a Yozuri and a game uh, gambler's uh, brand, and I see a brand bait that I have not heard of before called uh, Imperium baits. So something old and something new. First, our big ticket item uh, is a Fish Lab, um, the swim bait for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. And what we have is a uh, a soft gill swim bait. So you have this little blue gill patterned uh, swim bait here. Um, from Fish Labs. It is a four inch, uh, one and five eighths ounce sinking paddle tail soft plastic swim bait. So, I will say, colors on this, man, cameras will not do this ju justice. This is a very nicely painted bait. Uh, it's not, it doesn't have the hook placement back behind these fi uh, fins, which would have probably made this a fair bit more weedless, uh, so it's a very exposed hook. This also has a very forward-facing hook on it, um, comparative to where the line tie is, so you're going to have to hope that you get a full engulfed uh, or a head-striking bass. Um, otherwise, you're going to get a lot of short strikes back here in the main aspect of the body that's not going to hook up because it's not going to get in their mouth. However, I like all these soft plastic baits that I've seen, um, comes with that tie eye for a treble if you want to add that to you and like many of them it gives you the line tie but they don't give you a spare treble to throw on at your leisure with a you know with a split ring i still can for the life of me can't understand why these companies don't just throw in uh, a sizable split ring and um, you know the properly sized treble hook for the baits that they're putting out when they do this they give you the option give us the the, the treble hook don't just give us the option to put it on there. Give us the hardware to use so that, you know, we can take this out, throw it in our boat, open the package on the water, and go fishing right away. Um, you know, little things. $12.99. Next, name brand. Name brand bait. We have a Yozuri. Aha, this is familiar to me. So I've gotten this in my MTBs quite a few times. Um, this is the Yozuri's Knuckle Bait. Some people call it the Knuckle Ball Bait. Basically what this is, is it is a buzz bait without the buzzing paddle. Uh, it is a crank bait, or excuse me, a, um, let's open this up here. Not a crank bait, but without the willow leaves and without the Colorados, uh, you know, they've decided to run this plastic ball. Now this one is the first that I've gotten that is a rattling one. I've gotten two of these previous in, um, in MTBs and I believe another bait company, off the top of my head I can't think. It might have been my, um, it might have been my monthly subscription from, uh, from Angler's Hall. But those were the prisms, which were simply silent with a prism inside foil that would flash and give you that you know, Colorado willow uh, flash in the water as you're as you're going through. 
Um, this one is black and blue, is the colors. Where they're going to call this, let's see, obviously it's JDM. So there's a lot of Japanese in here, so I'm trying to find. Sinking, of course. And sound ball is what they call it. This half ounce. And uh, I'm just going to call it black and blue. I don't see a color, a direct color. Just Well, BLB, so BLB, black and blue. Number nine on the package. Um, and this one's got the rattling ball. So the, the solid tones are the rattling ones. You hear that? And then the uh, more transparent or translucent ones with the foil inside are just for flash. They're silent. Um, again, half ounce. These do have really, really good hooks and very good skirt material. It's not that cheap stuff that you pull on and it breaks. This stuff holds up very nice. So the quality there from a JDM product is there, but it is still a bit gimmicky. I haven't seen too many people actually catch fish on these, and I haven't been lucky enough to catch any fish, uh, regardless of species, on one of these yet. Um, but we'll see. You know, time will tell. And this is nice that now I have the rattling one finally to, to parse that versus the um, just the sight ball flashing one. And they price that at $10.99. Next up, Impact Baits Salamander. I'm hoping that's this one. Well, it looks like a salamander. So Impact Baits, another Canadian. See the big good old-fashioned maple leaf right there. Um, this is a soft plastic for $6.99. It is their salamander. Many people like these. I give it basically a... A brush hog meets, um, you know, ooh, it's got a curly tail on it. That's pretty cool. So you got this nice curly tail salamander profile with these four uh, whip appendages. So they'll definitely displace, uh, displace some, some good water, uh, water in the column. And you got little eyes on there. Flat pour molded. Uh, they do $6.99 again for this. Um, you get a pack of, I don't know how many, but it's guaranteed to be a full pack. So let's see how many come in this pack. I always like to see that. Let's see, we got three, six, seven. Lucky number seven. Seven of these little salamanders in a purple, and they are scented and oily. A very good garlic smell uh, to them, so that's going to prevent your pheromones from being on the bait. Maybe hold, have those fish hold onto these baits a little bit longer. Um, salamanders are well, salamanders or any kind of. of uh, Analog like this, I tend to use these for sight fishing beds. I don't typically just Texas rig and run these. A lot of people down south in the warmer water climates, they, they use these all year round, just like you'd use a regular worm, senko worm, ribbon tail worm. Not my style. I only use these towards the spawn period. Um, that's just my personal preference. Uh, Texas rig, Colorado rig, um, or excuse me, Carolina rig, um, that's the way I run these. So $6.99 for those. Impact baits, very good quality plastic, very supple. Uh, they do hold up. They don't tear. Um, they're, they're a very decent quality soft plastic. So I give them a lot of a lot of uh, credit where that is. Next, this company that I've never heard of, Imperium Baits, and we have some tubes. There we go. Imperium Baits, made in Canada, salted and scented. You've got a pack of six tubes. Smallmouth bass fishermen gonna love these. And this is a good size. Very salted, very nice. I like these longer trail tails. Um, I've seen a lot of tube baits with this size head that actually have a much, much smaller um, tail section, much, much less skirting on it, about half of that skirting. So to see this long trail is very good. That gives you so much more action under the water and definitely is going to facilitate uh, more bites. Again, these are... A total of $4.99 for the six of them. Um, tubes for me, again, are a smallmouth bass bait or a saltwater fishing bait. Um, but you will catch big mouth, uh, largemouth bass, uh, big largemouth bass on tubes. Um, no doubt about that. I just run them for smallmouth, you know, typically. Uh, $4.99 for that. Another $4.99 bait, again, back at Impact Baits. These are grubs. So another package. This is, ooh, nice curly tail grubs. Ooh, I, two color, dual color grubs. Oh, I like this. White is actually, funny as it is, white is a good color for the fishing in a couple of the waterways that I go fishing in. Um, these are $5.99. You get a pack of three, six. Again, lucky number seven. 
These are white curly tail grubs with a red tail. Now white is a good color. I've caught rainbow trout in my lake on white uh, curly tail grubs as trailers uh, to jigs. Um, the red is definitely going to add. I probably will catch even more fish with this because typically I just go straight white or white with a little bit of chartreuse but uh, because I'll dip my white grubs into a chartreuse dip it. But this having the red plastic right on it, I think that's, that's going to be interesting to fish. Again, Canadian bait. Uh, you probably catch pike on this as well uh, because of that color. They like those vibrant colors. And good bait, $5.99 for these impact baits. Uh, last in the lures, but not last in the box, uh, Easy Swimmer by Gambler. So these are Gambler's Go Fish. Gambler's... Ripe Melon is their color. It's a seven count, lucky number seven again. And these are basically your paddle tails, uh, swim bait, fish, in that watermelon black flake. This one's actually kind of a, huh, this one's a bit of a bad pour. There's a little bit of flashing still on this one. Huh, picked it right off. There you go. Good as new. Um, very good profile. It's got that little notch in there to add more tail kick. You can also cut that off and run that upside down as an awesome trailer to a, to a chatterbait. Um, leave it whole, run it Texas rigged uh, on a weighted belly hook. It's got a nice notch in the, in the bottom of it as well as a notch in the top. So you could run this Texas rigged. That notch on the top and bottom is going to allow a larger, maybe like a 4 aught or a 3 aught hook uh, to easily slip and penetrate so you get a good hook set. So that's always good. And that is for $5.99 also for those seven. And finally, just to round out the box so we didn't miss anything, we've got an Imperium Bates $5 or Redeem Online code and a 5 imperialbait.com uh, little voucher, I guess. So you can go online to imperiumbaits.com and use the code Bates and maybe there's a $5 off or 5% off discount. But Whatever that is, have fun with that. And finally, two new stickers to add to my collection. Fish tremble at the sound of my name. <laughs> That's not bad. I like that. And finally, get your bass in the boat. That one definitely is a keeper sticker. So uh, I hope that was entertaining. Again, this is the August, uh, yeah, the August edition of the um, RTB. Again. Be wary, uh, there's still people out there having issues with RTB. I hope they've getting that sorted out. I don't want this to be another one of those lucky tackle box style, um, you know, issues. I don't want this to be another one of those um, monster bass style slash lucky tackle box because they're the same boy, you know, individuals um, that give people issues and pause. But uh, as always, like I say, uh, buyer beware. I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. If you like Rush Tackle Box, what I've shown, go back, check some of my other videos, see what different kinds of tackle and baits that they, that they supply. Uh, I haven't seen too many uh, terminal tackles in RTVs as opposed to, say, Angler's Hall and um, Monster or Mystery Tackle Box. So if you're looking for a little bit more of the terminal tackle and less of just the soft plastics and baits and hard plastics, um, you're, you're probably more apt to run towards uh, Lucky or Mystery Tackle Box. If you're looking more towards, you know, you have your own, like, you like owner hooks, so you always get owner hooks. You don't need to get a package of Daiichis because you don't like Daiichi. You like owner. You're accustomed to them. So if you are more on that side of the, of the spectrum and you just want to uh, facilitate having more, uh, you know, styles of soft plastics, more versions, more, um, you know, profiles in your bait and tackle box uh, collection, then... This might be the way to go. Uh, it's inexpensive overall, and you get a decent, you know, you're always going to get the same number six uh, different varieties of baits. You tend not, and this is one of the good things about Rush Tackle Box that I have to commend, you don't get two different worms. You know, you don't get a ribbon tail worm and a regular Senko worm. Like in this box, you didn't see, um, you know, you saw the, the profile of, of these here as a, as, a, uh, you know, as a creature bait, and then you have your little paddle tail minnow swim baits and then you have a full size you know analog of a bluegill so you're getting different profiles you're not getting like it happens a lot from what i've seen with the monster bass boxes you're not getting just 
three different styles of the same basic bait. You know, two, two or three different brands, but they're all brush hogs, just different versions of brush hogs, or all, uh, you know, three different styles of a paddle tail. You get a paddle tail, you get a forked, uh, you know, tail fluke, and then you'll get like a finesse one with a bobble on the end in the same box. That's, that's three of the same bait, you know, uh, just aside from the little tail action on the end. I'd rather see them break that up over months, right? You know, not get the same exact profile basically in the same box. But be that as it may, I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe, and please share it with anybody who you might think would be interested in my content. As always, from me to you, tight lines, best of luck. I wish you all God bless, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my head. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon.